in our course so far we had seen how we can create business object populate data in the business object and show the data available in the business object in the web page but what if we want to call any external endpoint or the rest api and show the data returned from that endpoint in the page that we will see in this class i'm going to create a new page over here or the application with the name service connection learning done i'm keeping the default template click on finish close the welcome page i will create a new web app over here web app click on create now if you see on the left hand side on this options available next to web application we are having the service connection suppose if you want to call any external endpoint or the service we have to configure the details over here now before going ahead we should be having in hand the endpoint for the rest api now there is a popular rest countries api which is available in the web just you have to google rest countries api you will see the link click on this rest countries you will get a endpoint which we can use for our learning purpose if you just scroll down you will see this endpoint section click on all here we will get the endpoint using which we will get the information of all the countries across the globe just copy this from here go to our web page click on this plus service connection it will ask what kind of service connection you want to create since we have copied the endpoint we will select define by endpoint here we have to paste the url next it is asking for method it is get so this is the get endpoint so it's not mentioned but usually it will be mentioned in your specification document just mention it over here now we have to click on this create backend so don't worry about what is backend and all in our next class we will explain in detail what is backend and its usage as of now just name this as get countries and if there is authentication we can go for the basic authentication suppose if your endpoint is asking for username password we can provide it over here and there are a couple of more type of authentication this visual builder supports our rest countries endpoint it is not having any authentication click on next and if you want to test we can just click on this send request you will get the response here as you can see we are getting the details of all the countries now if you want to save the example we can just save so it will help when you are creating the type based on the endpoint like we had seen in our previous class so if you click on this save as example response then it will be helpful otherwise you won't get the metadata for creating the type one more method is if you can copy this content from this body and paste it over here in the response and there also you will get an option to save the example data like for example if you click on this response here you can copy and paste the content since we had clicked on save as example data it has copied over here automatically otherwise we can just copy it over here and we can save the example either we can test save the data or copy paste from your postman over here click on example and then click on this create so we have missed something in the overview tab let's first go back to overview okay service connection name we have missed we will tell countries api click on create done so we had given in the overview that is countries api so service name will come over here coming to the endpoint here we are getting the endpoint details and automatically oracle will be creating the get countries backend so in, in our next class we will see how we can create the backend and then consume the apis or the service connections so here automatically oracle has created suppose if you want to add few more endpoints just click on this plus endpoint and give the endpoint that is the relative uri over here and you can create one more api request configuration over here now once we are done let us go back to the main start i will drop the table component over here drag and drop it over here so go to the quick start click on add data earlier we were populating the data from the business object now since we have configured the service connection we will get an option to consume this endpoint select this click on next next it will ask what information you want to show in the page we will tell we want to show the country name where it is it's over here expand we will show the common name then we will tell the capital we want to show and the area that's it and the primary key we will select some random thing cca3 click on next and click on finish we will get the data of all the countries over here suppose user don't want to scroll the entire page what we can do is we can select this table go to the all 
and if you just search over here the style we can provide the css styling over here that is height and width so here we will add the height that is 50 vh so visual builder accepts almost all the css styling vh pixel based and em almost everything it accepts now soon as you we restrict based on the 50 virtual height we will get a scroller over here so user don't have to scroll an entire page rather they will be getting a scroller within the table so that they can scroll and get the information for all the countries in this api so like this we can call any external rest api in our visual builder application and show the data in the web page